Now we have this exhibit right. in our museum. We have these jars of soil that we put on shelves, and they're from lynching sites. And we had a, a middle-aged black woman go to one of the sites, and she was nervous when she got there because it was in a remote location. It was on a dirt road. And um, she was got to the site. She got down on her knees. She was going to start digging, and a pickup truck drove by. Big white guy in the truck stares at her, slows down, turns around, drives by again, stares at her some more, and she's terrified. Then the man parks the truck, gets out, walks over to her. Uh, she says she decides she's not going to tell him what she's doing. She says she's just going to say she's getting dirt for a garden. Man walks up to her and he says, "What are you doing?" And then she told me later, she said, "Mrs. Stevenson, something got a hold of me." And I told that man, she said, "I'm digging soil because this is where a black man was lynched in 1937. I'm going to honor his life." She said it was just me and that big guy, but something got a hold of me. And she said when she said that, the man just stood there. And then he said, "Does that paper you have talk about the lynching?" And she said yes. And she gave the man the paper. He said, "Can I read it?" She said yes. And he started reading the paper while she started digging. And the man finished reading the paper. And then he put the paper down. And he stunned her by saying, "Excuse me, ma'am, but would it be all right if I helped you?" And she said yes. And he got down on his knees. And she offered him the implement to dig the soil. He said, "No, no, 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 no. I'll just use my hands." And this guy started throwing his hands into the soil and putting it in the jar.、He、kept throwing his hands into the soil, and it blew her away. She said, "I had a tear running down my face. I just didn't expect it." And she said they got near the top, and she noticed that the man had slowed down. And she looked over at him, and she could see that his face was red. She could see his shoulders were shaking, and then she saw a tear running down his face. And she stopped, and she put her hand on his shoulder, and she said, "Are you all right?" And that's when the man said, "No, no, no, no. I'm not all right." And he looked at her, and he said, "I'm just so worried that it was my grandfather that participated in this lynching." And she said they both sat there on this roadside, weeping about the history, about the pain, about the suffering. She said, "Well, I'm going back to Montgomery to put this in the Lekas Museum at EJI." He said, it, "Would it be all right if I just followed you?" And I watched both of these people come in with that jar of soil. And I don't say that because I think、uh, beautiful things like that always happen when we do the truth telling, when we do the hard work. But I think until. We do the truth telling until we do the hard work. We deny ourselves the beauty that is justice, and that's what I want to say to even the angriest white people, the angriest and most bitter people on these issues of race and justice. I want them to understand that there is something that feels more like freedom, more like equality, more like justice waiting for all of us.、Right. But to get there, we have to have the courage to actually address the things that we are dealing with.